In this video, I'm going to be giving you reasons why you should invest in Abuja as fast as you can. Whatever amount of money you have, trust me, you really want to invest it in Abuja right now. Whether you're a Lagos investor, um, an investor from the East, or any part of Nigeria, you really, sincerely, truly want to invest in Abuja right now. In fact, you need to invest in Abuja as quick as possible before this happens. And I'm going to share that with you in this particular video. And of course, reasons why you should do that. I'm going to do this as a series. In this series, I'm going to talk to you about why you should invest in Abuja. I'm going to talk to you about how to strategically invest in Abuja. You can have a lot of money and just throw your money around Abuja. And you, you will most likely not be able to maximize the emphasis on the word maximize. So if you want to maximize your money and be able to get the best of returns uh, as an investor in Abuja, not just somebody who wants to own real estate, then you want to pay attention to this series. The next one I'm going to look at how you should invest strategically in Abuja. And the last part of this series, I'm going to be talking about what you should invest in in the city of Abuja. And trust me, this is going to be an amazing series. You do not want to miss any part of it. My name is Raymond Ijama and I am the lawyer that loves real estate. So if you like the real estate entrepreneur, there is this law and real estate as a tool in building wealth for myself and my client. And I'm hoping that you will become a uh, a part of the family anytime soon right and of course subscribe to the channel like this video drop a comment and do stay in touch because right here in this family we are building wealth using real estate and just before i continue i want to say congratulations to all of you who keyed into the fortry royal estate um in 14 days we have sold 29 plots 29 plots gone in 14 days and that is absolutely phenomenal it is a testament of the fact that indeed uh, a good product sells itself and fortunately real estate is one of such products all right so let's get right into the conversation as relates to why you should invest in abuja as quick as you can number one is and of course i'm going to give you the exact reasons why um, you should invest as quick as possible but let me give you general reasons first first abuja is a fast developing city and of course, uh, it is safe to say that it is the fastest developing city in Nigeria. Again, the reason is not far-fetched. It is the federal capital territory. And everything about government here, yeah, assuming, I mean, it is said that um, a lot of other places may not be working as it should, but Abuja has to work for a lot of reasons. It is a federal capital territory. And it is the first phase as it relates to um, general bilateral activities or typical um, uh, FCT activities like um, dealing with multinationals, um, embassies, and all of that. So, because Abuja is that face that uh, Nigeria has asked the FCT, it is natural for it to really get some level of attention. In fact, it is happening right now. Um, sorry, I have to say this, uh, but it is happening in real time. And I don't know the reason, but I guess it's because of the FCT. There are some roads that are not bad. I mean, by the actual definition of bad. But right here in Abuja, they would destroy those roads and do better roads on them. And those roads in some other parts of Nigeria should or can be considered as good roads. But right here, they're considered as bad, as bad roads and then they fix them ASAP. And in fact, uh, Abuja boasts to be that city where uh, greenery is taken very importantly. Uh, you find certain places where it is compulsory for you to have green areas, right? And then you have parks in certain places. You have, in fact, every sector center in Abuja has parks and every amenity that a global city is meant to have. And then, of course, it is in Abuja that you see um, flower maintenance, the greenery maintenance, um, sweeping of uh, maintaining the street lights. Almost every other week, you find them maintaining the street lights. And every other thing, that is again because it is the federal capital territory in other words this city is one city that you truly would desire to own investment in uh, either for the purpose of returns or for the purpose of being an abuja landowner right so yes um first reason is the fact that it is a developing city and indeed a fast developing city because infrastructure is taken very seriously here they don't joke uh, infrastructure is not something you want to joke with here. Uh, it is always said that Abuja is um, is round a year a construction site. In other words, you can't drive uh, as long as 10 minutes in Abuja and not find one construction site in terms of road construction or infrastructure activities 
happening around the city. Second reason why you should invest in Abuja as fast as you can is cash flow. Now, one of the benefits of investing in real estate is cash flow. And cash flow in the sense that um, you are able to get quick returns and good returns. Uh, for example, uh, if you have or you own a one-bedroom apartment in Abuja, um, anywhere around 30, 25, or let's start from 20 kilometers to 30 kilometers around the city center, currently the present city center, um, if you have any one bedroom around, you can confidently boast of about 1 million naira rental income every year. 1 million naira rental income every year per annum. And if you are able to, I mean, get it in very nice locations, you can even get as high as 3 million naira for a one bedroom apartment, right? So it's all about investing as quick as possible and strategically, which I'm going to talk about in this series, right? So because of uh, the cash flow factor in Abuja, uh, you should really consider investing into uh, the Abuja real estate market because it guarantees you cash flow. And with the 28 million housing deficit in Nigeria, which I believe is even more, Abuja can comfortably take away uh, more than 5 million out of that housing deficit. In other words, um, if you can build affordable housing in Abuja, if you can own houses, one bedroom, two bedrooms, three bedrooms, trust me, it's going to be, or you are going to have a lot of demand for such houses because that is what in demand in Abuja. And if you're able to do that, trust me, you will get good cash flow. And the next is capital appreciation. Abuja gives you capital appreciation, uh, if you ask me, at its best level because um, it happens that, and you get capital appreciation by off-plan. If you're investing off-plan, you get capital appreciation. In other words, as the construction is happening gradually, your appreciation is happening in real time. In other words, a typical example, had apartment, people who, pay, who paid, who paid into um, some opportunities at 15.5 million apartments um, sometime in November, so less than one year ago. And right now, if you're buying, if you want to key into one unit of that same product that was gotten at 15.5 million, you need 37 million to get that as I speak to you. So even before the apartment is delivered to the client in less than one year, they've already gotten more than 100% capital appreciation on their products. In other words, uh, by the time they're done or at the point of handover, you most likely would have gotten, say, 150% return in 18 months. And by the time that is done, they now begin the journey of cash flow, which is number two I already talked about. That is absolutely an amazing deal for anybody. Uh, you can get that only in Abuja, right? And the, the fourth one is fast ROI. Now, um, I've always said that real estate is not a get-rich-quick scheme, but a get-rich for sure. However, Abuja is that city that can, has the possibility and, of course, the potential to give you um, fast return on investment, huge and fast returns on investment. And one of the reasons for that is because of the fast developing nature of the city and how um, attention is paid to infrastructure. So typical example, you can buy land today along or anywhere around the major circulation routes in Abuja. For example, the OSES. Because right now we have investment opportunities around the OSES. Uh, so if you invest around the OSES, for example, and in one year, two years, the OSES is completed, what you bought at say 5 million around the OSES can confidently go in for around 20 million because the OSES has now been completed. That is the impact of infrastructure in every city and of course in appreciation. So at that point, it is not false appreciation. It is real appreciation and you can take that to the bank, right? So if you are able to invest in Abuja the right way, strategically, then you can be guaranteed a fast return on investment. I'm going to share more strategies in the last series of this particular conversation. And then, and then um, number five is uh, Abuja has the best land administration in Nigeria. I can say that any day, any time. I've done real estate transactions across um, different cities, across different regions in Nigeria. And as a lawyer myself, uh, as well as in the field of real estate, somebody who is into due diligence and everything in between real estate transactions, I can tell you for free that Abuja had the best land administration in Nigeria. And with that, it is only proper for you to key into the best administration, uh, land administration in Nigeria. And then the last point, which is why I'm saying you should invest as quick as possible, is because Wike is the current minister of ESC. Now, as the current minister of ESC, a lot of us may not like him um, as a person, but one thing we cannot deny is the fact that he is currently doing good work in Abuja. And the rate at which he's doing the good work in Abuja 
a lot of things are going to be changing really fast in our faces. In fact, the year bridge that he completed, I saw, I stumbled on a video where somebody was talking about the fact that he never believed that that road, that bridge, that entire um, road construction will be completed in his lifetime. And he's seen it, seen it um, in real time. And it, it was totally, in fact, he was talking about how somebody, where they used to buy a mala somewhere around the bridge. And that today, that is no longer the position in just one year of being in office, right? So imagine what will happen in another um, um, one year, two years, three years, um, as the case may be, right? So with Wike in power and maybe any other minister of the FCD that continues uh, with the batting from where he stopped, it will happen that uh, people or some persons may not be able to invest in Abuja anymore because of how fast the development is going to be, which automatically we improve impact the appreciation and, of course, prices of properties, lands and properties, or real estate generally in Abuja. So if you are that person who dreams, is interested, desires to be a landlord in Abuja or enjoy any of the benefits I just shared with you, do reach out to the number on your screen. Let us help you secure the best of what is available right now. Or if you don't like my face, you can reach out to any other broker that you feel comfortable dealing with or engaging because my priority is just for you to be educated and so that you are able to key in as quick as possible, right? So if you're interested in considering um, investing in Abuja, do reach out to the number showing on your screen. Again, this is brought to you by Fortree Ray Limited, real estate company right here in the very city of Abuja. And as a company, we bring you the absolute best of real estate in the city and as you've clearly seen we don't just tell you to come and invest we give you facts reasons for why you should consider investing and how to invest safely and rightly so this is crap and i like the video drop a comment and do stay in touch with us uh, as we continue to do the best that we can with respect to doing real estate in abuja